hey everyone hello good evening i hope you guys are doing great so far my name is amit surana this is the third lecture on time speed and distance i am an aeronautical engineer from chennai with over six years of experience teaching quantitative aptitude and other parts of the cat i've trained over two lakh students in doing so please don't forget to follow hashtag cat live daily the next time you are on instagram and while you are at it please get yourselves added to these groups on telegram these will keep you updated on anything that we've planned for your mba prep <clears throat> hi aditya good evening and if you're looking at yourselves in the next year where you see yourselves here in the poster all you have to do is pick up one of the value offers value offerings that we have at an academy cat uh, all you have to do is use the app for it get yourselves enrolled into one of these batches this one just started today this one would be starting the day after that is 10th of feb and this will be starting on the 13th of feb uh, the 8th feb wala batch <clears throat> would include all concepts uh, the 10th feb wala batch will also include all concepts i will be taking the quant part here i will be taking time and work and time speed distance this would be yeah so the timing for this this is a weekday batch that is monday to friday from 6 30 pm till 8 pm <coughs> and there's another one starting on the 13th which is saturday this is a weekend batch saturday and sunday i'll be taking quant here we'll be starting with number system so get yourselves enrolled in one of these batches guys this is how you would be able to get your desirable score on a test like cat and for you to enroll yourselves into these batches all you have to do is pick up one of these packages the best ones are 12 month and the 24 month ones use my referral code surana live you'll get a discount of 10 percentage so for uh, for uh, what cost you 17500 will now cost you 15750 and what cost you 21000 will cost you 18900 don't forget to use my referral code surana live you can also use this referral code here for iconic if you're looking for uh, a personal mentor helping you every step of the way then there are 12 months and 24 month packages available all you have to do is use my referral code surana live to get your discount there are no cost emi options also available that will help you <coughs> go easy on the pocket go for iconic if you're looking for a personal mentor that being said let's move on <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys yeah uh, hi Rattik. hello tanish hi sheetal good evening everybody yeah so let's move on this is our third lecture on time speed distance if you remember so far we've looked at what time speed distance is we've also looked at average speed we've understood what is the relation between each of the terms in the first lecture in the second lecture we had looked at what relative speed is and how different questions can be asked from there now what we are looking at today is something called effective speed yes this is in lines with relative speed but this is effective speed the term effective itself says that there is some effect of one moving object with respect to the other right if one moving object affects the speed of the other moving object then the combined speed we call that as effective speed uh, some of the examples that uh, you know where effective speed come into play are boats and streams which is what we'll be looking at later in the session today and also concepts like elevators yeah <clears throat> hi nalin hello akshay <clears throat> Uh, Akash there is no harm in that as long as you have uh, figured things out and if that is what you want then there is no harm in that if you have already done your MSc doesn't matter a lot of people I know who have done their uh, uh, post graduation twice two different aspects of it if you think this is what you want then definitely and if you crack cat it definitely would get your uh, you know dream B school all right chalo chalu karte effective speed <clears throat> let's start with a very basic example okay let's say there's a there's a stream yes what is a stream a stream is 
uh, water which is not stagnant which is flowing okay in the first example let's assume that we are talking about stagnant water still water yeah so this is still water water doesn't move here there's a difference distance of 100 kilometers between these two points a and b <coughs> so we have a boat okay we have a boat let's say the speed of the boat is 30 kilometers per hour can you guys tell me if this boat has to move in this direction in still water the water isn't moving if the boat has to move in this direction cover 100 kilometers how long would it take quick guys <coughs> Jaldi se bata. i've got a bad throat <coughs> Jaldi se bata, guys how long would it take yeah three hours 20 minutes right three hours 20 minutes why 100 kilometers traveled at 30 kilometers per hour would take us 3 hours and 20 minutes to cover it superb <coughs> it's not 3.2 though guys please keep in mind it's not 3.2 3.2 would mean 3 hours and 12 minutes 3.2 galat hai it will be 3.33 bar hours okay please ensure that you don't make a mistake this is not equal to 3.2 hours no 3.2 hours means 3 hours 12 minutes and 3.33 hours means 3 hours 20 minutes ye jo beech mein 8 minute ka gap hai please don't mess this up okay this is especially when you have questions that deal with <coughs> sorry theta questions mein aise fas mat jana faltu mein theek hai chalo so yeah that being said now now let's bring up a scenario where the water on which the boat moves is not stagnant anymore here the water was stagnant right still water yes now let's take a consideration where the water also moves and the boat also moves right there are two moving objects now there the word effective comes into picture when there is a point of contact yes between these two surfaces there is a point of contact here correct at the point of contact what happens the speeds get affected by each other yes because of this flow of the water the boat speed also get affected so whenever there is a <coughs> whenever there is a point of contact whenever one moving object is in contact with the other direct contact or with the help of levers with the help of gears whatever right if there is a contact then effective speed comes into picture okay now let's say that the a boat moves at its usual 30 kilometers per hour <coughs> speed and the water flows at 20 kilometers per hour speed yes how long would it take for our boat to cover the same 100 kilometers if it is moving in this direction and the water also flows in this direction <coughs> sorry yes so look at the flow of the water and the direction in which the boat is also moving right ha huh. 2 hours right so here what we call this scenario is as downstream downstream means what going along with the stream yes along so when two moving objects are moving along in the same direction you remember same direction opposite direction if they're moving in the same direction then what happens you tell me if you are you know you have to swim or you have to row a boat and the water along with you is also moving in the same direction what is it doing the water flow is contributing to covering the distance it's not going against you it's not causing hurdles it is contributing right whenever two moving objects are contributing to the same work what happens the time taken would reduce yes the time taken would definitely reduce if time reduces then speed increases correct so how do you increase the speed here by getting the sum of it so effective speed in this case would be speed of the boat plus speed of the water yeah in this case what would happen every hour in one hour normally my boat will go 30 kilometers per hour yes and in the same one hour the water helps me go 20 kilometers per hour so if i have my boat turned off if i'm not rowing anymore if the motor is not turned on if the boat is turned off it will still be able to cover 20 kilometers because the water is flowing correct 
so overall in one hour how much 50 kilometers gets covered per hour right so that becomes our effective speed 50 kilometers per hour in this case how much time would it take for uh, the boat to cover this distance same 100 by 50 2 hours yes so downstream mein kya ho jata hai? 2 hours so what happens in downstream your speeds get added in the same way what if the same 100 kilometers is to be covered <clears throat> yes the boat travels at your usual 30 kilometers per hour water flows okay let's, sorry let's say the boat travels at 20 kilometers per hour the water flows at 30 kilometers per hour how long would it take for the boat to reach the destination cover 100 kilometers cover the 100 kilometers provided the water is not contributing anymore to the distance covering instead it's going in the opposite direction the boat is not moving along the stream it is moving against the stream how long would it take <coughs> 10 hours 10 hours boat is at 20 kilometers per hour water is at 30 kilometers per hour how long would it take to cover 100 kilometers in this direction yeah it's not possible why is it not possible because the water flow is the rate of flow is faster is higher than the rate at which you row your boat yes this basically means by the time in one hour by the time your boat covers 20 kilometers your water will cover 30 kilometers in the opposite direction so you will only end up going backwards 10 kilometers right you won't travel forward you will go backwards are you understanding please be careful about these kind of scenarios okay yes your boat must always be faster than your flow of water please remember this speed of the boat must always be greater than the speed of water otherwise you're just moving backwards yes you're doing work in the negative direction you're traveling in the negative direction yeah <clears throat> so in this case let's assume not uh, boat being boat traveling at 30 kilometers per hour flow of the water is 20 kilometers per hour now tell me now what happens in one hour so since since they are not contributing to the same work one is working towards doing the work the other is creating hurdles right creating obstacles doing work in the negative direction what happens to the time it will take you longer than usual yes than still water it will take you longer yeah and what happens to the speed then the speed decreases correct so ultimately what happens here effective speed would be the difference between the speed of the boat and that of the water always remember boat has to be faster than water otherwise the work or the direct distance covered will be in the negative direction yeah so in this case 30 minus 20 gives us what 10 kilometers every hour yeah so time taken would be how much 100 kilometers to be covered at 10 kilometers per hour would take us 10 hours to do it yeah this is very similar to relative speed but what you have to understand is when two moving objects are going in the same direction effective speed may same direction may speeds add hote. yes relative speed may same direction subtract hota. I, I hope i'm making this clear for you all <coughs> difference they close relative speed may relative speed may opposite direction add karte ho. same direction subtract karte ho. yes but in case of effective speed it's the other way around what happens here in the opposite direction you subtract the speeds in the same direction you add the speeds i hope i'm making this clear for you <clears throat> sorry guys so Tanishk Gauri your question is legit and here's the answer to your questions done everyone beautiful so with this 
our concept for effective speed and boats and streams are done let's go ahead with some questions okay <coughs> Also, guys, see, I'm not going to stuff you with enough formula, right? Effective speed, if you go boats and streams, in any book, there will be a lot of formula hoga. covering the same distance, how much time is taking, covering in the same time, how much distance is covering, uh, going and coming in the same distance, uh, what is the average speed. I'm not going to bug you with all of that because those are all you can improvise on the spot, right? So chalo, let's try out a question. The first one is on the screen for y'all. Easy question hai, fada vat se karo. <coughs> Please don't forget to hit like on this video guys, theek hai? Okay, guys, you have about a minute left. Four hours, four hours, everybody. Beautiful. How about others? Basic question is just to get our cells ignited. Uske baad apan chale jayenge. Hmm, Animesh. So when they use a term like <coughs> downstream, what do you mean by downstream? Downstream means along. Yes, along the flow of the water. So along matlab kya ho gaya? Same direction. Yes. On the other hand, if they use the term upstream, that means up, right? Going against gravity, going against the flow of the water. Upstream basically means what? Against or in this case it will be opposite direction yeah so let's quickly answer this speed of the boat is what <clears throat> speed of the boat 14 kilometers an hour flow of the water 5 kilometers an hour going in the same direction that means their speeds get added the effective speed becomes what 19 kilometers an hour how much is the distance to be covered 76 kilometers is to be covered so distance is 76 kilometers they are asking for how long would it take how long would it take time is equal to distance over speed that is 16 over 9 76 over 19 which is nothing but four hours yes so four is your answer beautiful guys very good so the next question try karo. quickly try this <coughs> Sorry for coughing so loud in your ears. I haven't fully recovered actually. Uh, hi Suchi, if you're looking for starting for quant, then I'd suggest you start right from calculation techniques. Pahle liya tha, I guess in the month of November, if I'm not wrong, November, October mein chalu kiya tha apanne. First step to cat bolke, first step towards quant for cat, usse chalu karo aap, that'll be most beneficial. Then go with arithmetic, start with percentage, profit loss simple interest compound interest we did some sessions on shares and stocks and also on installments Fair aage badhte jao. six hours five hours so we have two answers coming in five hours and six hours Ivan she says five others say six <clears throat> Rushikesh and Haridev also say 5. Chalo, let's quickly look at this. A man can row along the flow at 15 kilometers per hour and the speed of the flow is 2.5 kilometers per hour. Right? Dhyan se padho, along the flow. Along matlab kya ho gaya? Same direction. <clears throat> Same direction mein speed kya hai? 15. Matlab speed of the boat plus speed of the water. Hai na? Effective speed kya hai? 15 hai. Speed of the boat plus speed of the water is 15 kilometers an hour. 
and the speed of the flow is 2.5 flow matlab kya ho gaya water speed of the water is 2.5 kilometers per hour <coughs> sorry <coughs> so uh, for us to find out the time taken for him to row uh, in still water still water means what only the boat going Wa water ka flow zero hota hai wahan pe yeah what would we need we would first need to find out speed of the boat the speed of the boat kya hoga speed of the boat would be 15 minus 2.5 hai na go to the other side which is 12.5 kilometers an hour so 12.5 kilometers per hour is the speed of the boat what they are asking is how long would it take for water at water in uh, sorry boat in still water that means only the speed of boat yes to cover how much 75 kilometers distance so time is what distance upon speed in this case it will be 75 upon 12.5 which is 6 hours so 6 is your right answer jinne bhi five bola ek baar check kar lo wo to still water mein bata rahe na still water mein hi to bata rahe a man can row along the flow along the flow means what same direction along i hope you figured that out rushikesh theek hai so everybody who said 5 rushikesh haridev ivanshi clear hai still water ka matlab kya hota hai no flow yes it's like rowing in uh, a pond or a lake pond mein lake mein pani nahi move hota hai na it's stagnant still not in a stream yes चलो सुपर क्विकली ट्राई दिस अच्छा गाइस अगर वीडियो पे लाइक नहीं किया अभी तक तो कर देना Go ahead, try this out. Ah, uh, exact? Yeah. मुनीरा मैम का एग्जैक्ट इज समवेर अराउंड शी गॉट अ नाइंटी नाइन पॉइंट सम परसेंट है एग्जैक्ट उनका स्कोर कार्ड नहीं है बट या शी डेट शेयर हर स्कोर कार्ड मिल नहीं रहा बाद में बताऊंगा ढूंढ के ठीक है <coughs> समझ गया मैं अर्पण मैं करता हूँ कंफर्म करता हूँ उन्हीं से पूछ लेता हूँ बाद में एट इज टू थ्री फाइव इज टू इलेवन तो रोहित एट इज टू थ्री बोल रहे हैं हरिदेव सेज फाइव इज टू इलेवन गौरी सेज एट इज टू थ्री नलिन एट इज टू थ्री अक्षय सेज एट इज टू थ्री Ivan she says eight is to three. Beautiful. Last twenty seconds, guys.
आदित्य सेज एट इज टू थ्री तनिष सेज एट इज टू थ्री ब्यूटिफुल क्या बोल रहे हैं स्पीड बोट टेक्स एट आवर्स फोर्टी फोर्टी एट मिनट्स टू कवर फोर्टी फोर किलोमीटर्स एंड टेक्स फोर आवर्स टू रिटर्न इसमें क्या क्लियर हो गया कि फॉर द सेम डिस्टेंस दोनों केसेस में सेम डिस्टेंस है तो अपस्ट्रीम में ज्यादा टाइम लगता दैन डाउन है ना अपस्ट्रीम में ज्यादा टाइम लगता है दैन डाउन स्ट्रीम एग्रीड क्योंकि ऊपर जाते वक्त स्पीड कम होती है अल्टीमेटली टेकिंग एज लॉन्गर तो अपस्ट्रीम का टाइम क्या है एट आर फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी एट मिनट दैट इज एट पॉइंट सिक्स आवर्स यहां पे टाइम कितना है फोर आवर्स है ना दोनों प्लेसेस में डिस्टेंस क्या है फोर्टी फोर किलोमीटर्स यस दोनों केसेस में डिस्टेंस कितना है फोर्टी फोर किलोमीटर्स करेक्ट नाउ वॉट वुड वी नीड वी वुड नीड द स्पीड यहाँ पे इफेक्टिव स्पीड निकलेगा कितना आएगा स्पीड इज टाइम बाई सॉरी डिस्टेंस बाई टाइम विच इज फोर्टी फोर बाई एट पॉइंट सिक्स यस कितना हो जाता है वो एट पॉइंट सिक्स नहीं है सॉरी एट पॉइंट एट है माई बैड फोर्टी एट मिनट इज फोर्टी एट मिनट इज पॉइंट एट आवर्स है ना सॉरी या सो दिस गिव्स अस हाउ मच दिस इज एट टाइम्स दिस इज फोर्टी टाइम्स व्हिच इज फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आर एंड डाउन स्ट्रीम में कितना हो जा रहा है डाउन स्ट्रीम में इफेक्टिव स्पीड इज इलेवन किलोमीटर्स पर आर Yes, so five is to eleven would be the ratio of upstream to downstream. So five is to eleven is wrong. What we want is ratio of their speeds, है ना? Individual speeds, speed of the boat and speed of the water. यहाँ पे क्या है? Here it is the difference between boat and water, which is five. Here is the sum of boat and water, which is eleven. If you want to find out the speed of the boat, speed of the boat के लिए what do you do? Add the upstream and downstream and then divide by two. Yes, add करोगे तो two times b हो जाएगा sixteen. It will come up to eight. And uh, for you to find the speed of the water, all you have to do is subtract and then divide by two. तो इन दोनों को मैं अगर subtract करूँगा तो I will get what six six by two is three. Eight kilometers per hour है boat का speed. Three kilometers per hour है water का speed. So they are asking what is boat. is to water which is 8 is to 3 which you have to write it as 8 by 3 kyunki ye theta hai to usko 8 by 3 or in other words this will be how much 2.66 kilometers per hour nahi hoga us 2.66 hoga theek hai ratio ka koi unit nahi hota hai. so there <coughs> या गौरे एड बाई टू कैसे इक्वेशन लीनियर इक्वेशन सॉल्व कर रहा हूं इक्वेशन वन इक्वेशन टू दोनों को एड करोगे क्या हो जाएगा इफ यू एड बोथ ऑफ देम माइनस डब्ल्यू प्लस डब्ल्यू कैंसिल हो जाएगा बी प्लस बी टू टाइम्स बी इज सिक्सटीन तो बी क्या हो गया सिक्सटीन बाई टू एट गेटिंग एट सेम वे सब ट्रैक्ट बाई टू ठीक है हाँ बस डन चलो ठीक है मूविंग ऑन ये वाला ट्राई करो जल्दी से
ये बस सांस लेना सीख रहा है <coughs> हाथ तो हिल ही नहीं रहे इसके नलिन आदित्य वेदांत से बी जीरो पॉइंट फाइव हाउ अबाउट अदर्स हरिदेव से इस बी सोमेश से इस ए वन किलोमीटर पर आर आकाश इवानशी ऋषिकेश से बी ओके चलो ठीक है लेट्स क्विकली डू दिस वेरी इजी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन दोनों में दोनों केसेस में अलग अलग डिस्टेंसेस दे दिए डाउनस्ट्रीम में अलग दे दिया है अपस्ट्रीम में अलग दे दिया है यहाँ पे ट्वेल्व किलोमीटर्स क्योर इट इज टेन किलोमीटर्स इन बोथ केसेस द टाइम इज द सेम टू आवर्स टू आवर्स सो यहाँ पे इफेक्टिव स्पीड क्या हो जाएगा डाउन स्ट्रीम इज नथिंग बट द सम ऑफ द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट एंड वॉटर विच इज सिक्स किलोमीटर्स पर आर इन दिस केस द इफेक्टिव स्पीड विच इज वॉट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट एंड वॉटर विच इज फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आर यस वट दे आर आस्किंग इज वट इज द स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम दैट्स इट यस स्पीड ऑफ द स्ट्रीम के लिए स्पीड ऑफ द वॉटर के लिए क्या करोगे सब ट्रैक्ट देन डिवाइड बाई टू सो सिक्स माइनस फाइव इज वन वन बाई टू इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आर ऑप्शन बी इज योर राइट आंसर यस डन एनी क्वेश्चन हेयर कंफ्यूजन हेयर एनी वन सो लुक इसके लिए अलग से फॉर्मूला है ठीक है इसके लिए अलग से फॉर्मूला है वो वाला प्रीवियस वाले क्वेश्चन के लिए अलग से फॉर्मूला है यहाँ पे क्या फॉर्मूला है यहाँ पे बेसिकली डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्पीड बाई टू ठीक है जो अपन यू नो यू कैन यू कैन सिट एंड डू इट अप फ्रंट राइट इम्प्रोवाइज कर सकते हो तो अलग से मैं किसी का भी फॉर्मूला नहीं बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि इट्स जस्ट अ वेस्ट ऑफ टाइम यू रिमेंबरिंग दैट फॉर्मूला अप्लाइंग इट राइटली बिकम्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट ठीक है चलो क्विकली ट्राई दस ना ऋषिकेश इससे तो डेफिनेटली टफ पूछेंगे ये तो बहुत बेसिक है दीज आर वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन इससे डेफिनेटली टफ क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे ये हम जब एडवांस्ड क्वेश्चन करेंगे ना तब डिफिकल्ट वाले क्वेश्चन देखेंगे ठीक है जब हम एडवांस्ड क्वेश्चन करेंगे तब हम डिफिकल्ट वाले देखेंगे ठीक है ओके गौरी एंड वेदांत से सी आदित्य आल्सो से सी अदर्स सोमेश नलिन बोथ से सी और कोई आंसर्स गाइस क्योंकि एवरीथिंग इज इन मीटर पर सेकेंड मीटर पर सेकेंड में कर लो राइट अगेंस्ट द स्ट्रीम मतलब क्या अपस्ट्रीम अपस्ट्रीम का क्या सीन है 800 हंड्रेड मीटर्स इन सिक्स हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स दिस इज बेसिकली फोर बाई थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड इसको रखो साइड में फाइंड आउट दैट सेम थिंग फॉर डाउन स्ट्रीम क्या बोल रहे हैं सेम डिस्टेंस फाइव मिनट्स में यस सेम एट हंड्रेड मीटर्स इन हाउ मेनी मिनट्स फाइव मिनट्स फाइव मिनट्स इज हाउ मेनी सेकेंड्स थ्री हंड्रेड सेकेंड्स दिस गिवस एस हाउ मच एट बाई थ्री मीटर पर सेकेंड दे वॉन्ट वॉट स्पीड ऑफ द बोट हाउ डू यू फाइंड द स्पीड ऑफ द बोट स्पीड ऑफ द बोट इज वॉट सम बाई टू है ना 
स्पीड ऑफ द वोट इज सम बाय टू दोनों को ऐड कर लो फोर बाय थ्री प्लस एट बाय थ्री बाय टू दिस गिव अस व्हाट ट्वेल्व बाय थ्री व्हिच इज फोर फोर बाय टू इज टू मीटर पर सेकेंड ऑप्शन सी टू मीटर्स पर सेकेंड इज योर राइट आंसर कुल इसमें मैं कोई फॉर्मूला नहीं दे रहा हूं कोई स्पेशल केसेस डिफरेंट केसेस कुछ नहीं कर रहे अपन है ना फालतू की बकवास में जा ही नहीं रहे डायरेक्ट डायरेक्ट सॉल्व कर रहे दैट्स इट क्विकली ट्राई दिस अभी जो स्विमिंग का क्वेश्चन पूछ रहा था इसको देख के सीख लो भाई को ज्यादा लंबा नहीं है आदित्य से सी अदर्स सुमेश ऋतिक रोहित गौरी <coughs> सब बोल रहे कि इसका आंसर है सी माइकल माइकल फेल इतना काला कैसे हो गया भाई बहुत ज्यादा टैनिंग हो गया है एस पी एफ एस पी एफ नहीं लगाता क्या ऑप्शन सी ऑप्शन सी ब्यूटीफुल गाइस वेरी गुड सेम कॉन्सेप्ट ओनली थिंग इज वॉट देव गिवन एस देव गिवन एस फ्लो ऑफ द वाटर स्पीड ऑफ द वाटर इज हाउ मच थ्री पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर्स पर आर दे सेंग दैट बाई द टाइम वेन द टाइम्स आर कॉन्स्टेंट यस He can swim twice as far downstream as he can swim upstream. मतलब क्या If the times are constant, that basically means distance and speed are time अगर constant है तो what do you know? Distance and speed are directly proportional, right? तो अगर distance का ratio upstream downstream, downstream और upstream distance का ratio if it is टू is to वन फिर स्पीड का रेशियो भी क्या होगा टू इज टू वन इट्स यस सो यहां पे देखो यहां पे आई डोंट वांट यू टू वेस्ट टाइम इन मेकिंग इक्वेशंस एंड ऑल रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग करो रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग मतलब क्या यहां पे जो आएगा वो टू टाइम्स होगा यहां पे जो होगा वो वन टाइम्स होगा व्हाट इज स्पीड अंडर डाउन बोट प्लस वॉटर इन दिस केस बोट नहीं है स्विमर है तो स्विमर प्लस वॉटर यहाँ पे स्विमर माइनस वाटर है ना सो व्हेन आई ऐड 3.5 टू वन ऑफ दीज आंसर चॉइसेस एंड व्हेन आई सब्ट्रैक्ट 3.5 फ्रॉम द सेम आंसर चॉइस दोनों का रेशियो टू इज टू वन होना चाहिए दैट्स इट यस सो आई नो द आंसर हैज टू बी व्हाट 10.5 क्यों क्योंकि 10.5 पॉइंट प्लस थ्री इज फोर्टीन एंड टेन पॉइंट माइनस थ्री इज सेवन फोर्टीन इज टू सेवन इज टू इज टू वन सेटिस्फाई कर रहा है यस सो वट इज आर आंसर ऑप्शन सी टेन पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर एंड आर कुल ओके यू कैन डू इट विद इक्वेशन ऑल्सो जस्ट जस्ट दैट दिस विल बी टू टाइम्स ऑफ दिस यस तो स्पीड ऑफ बोट प्लस स्विमर प्लस वॉटर इज टू टाइम्स स्विमर माइनस वॉटर फिर इसको आप सॉल्व कर लो यू विल गेट द speed of the swimmer yes which will come up to how much 21 by 2 which is 10.5 kilometers per hour cool
चलो ये ट्राई करो रीड द क्वेश्चन केयरफुली एंड देन आंसर ओके कल कौन जीतेगा इंडिया इंग्लैंड कल ऑस्ट्रेलिया जीतेगी पिच अगर ऐसे ही फ्लैट रही तो फिर ऑस्ट्रेलिया जीतेगी सोमेश से सी अदस सुपर बजितेश इंडिया ऑलवेज अदर्स गाइज आई स्टिल ट्राइंग टाइम ऐड किया है और क्विकली गो है ट्राई आदित्य अनिमेश रोहित सी बोल रहे हैं बाकी लोग अक्षय लगी जोन में सूची से सी अक्षय तनिष्क सुपर्ब सो वट इज गिवन इन दिस केस यहाँ पे गिवन क्या है कि अपस्ट्रीम डाउन स्ट्रीम का टाइम टाइम टेकन डाउन स्ट्रीम प्लस टाइम टेकन अप स्ट्रीम इज वॉट सिक्स आवर्स यस डिस्टेंस नहीं दिया है बट वी कैन फाइंड आउट द स्पीड्स है ना तो ये क्या हो जाएगा टाइम इज नथिंग बट डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड ऑफ डाउन स्ट्रीम प्लस डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड ऑफ अपस्ट्रीम शुड बी सिक्स अब यहां पर भी आप इस इक्वेशन में बैठ के करोगे तो ठीक है कर सकते हो चलो वट इज स्पीड ऑफ डाउन स्ट्रीम सम सिक्स एंड फोर टेन किलोमीटर्स पर आर यहां पर क्या हो जाएगा टू किलोमीटर्स पर आर दिस शुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्स यहां पर एलसीएम ले लोगे यू विल हैव सिक्स टाइम्स डी हाँ सिक्स टाइम्स डी बाई टेन इज सिक्स आवर्स डिस्टेंस इज इक्वल टू टेन किलोमीटर्स बट वॉट्स अ बेटर वे ऑफ डूइंग दिस विदाउट यूजिंग पेन पेपर बिना पेन पेपर के करना है तो क्या करोगे रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग यस एट किलोमीटर्स एट बाई टेन एट बाई टू एट बाई टेन क्या हो रहा है डेसीमल में आ रहा है जाने दो नाइन बाई टेन नाइन बाई टू दोनों डेसीमल में आ रहा है जाने दो 11 बाई टेन इलेवन बाई टू दोनों डेसीमल में आ रहा है जाने दो वॉट द ओनली थिंग लेफ्ट टेन दिस हैज टू बी योर आंसर चेक कर लो 10 बाई टेन इज वन टेन बाई टू इज फाइव वन प्लस फाइव इज सिक्स आवर्स खत्म या ट्राई डूइंग मोर थिंग्स यूजिंग रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग दैन डूइंग इट इन द ट्रेडिशनल मैथड ट्रेडिशनल मैथड विल ऑलवेज गिव यू द आंसर बट देन द टाइम टेकन विल विल बी ग्रेटर है ना यहाँ पे ज्यादा टाइम स्पेंड करने से अच्छा आप कोई और क्वेश्चंस पे ज्यादा टाइम स्पेंड करो तो यहाँ पे रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग लगा के खेल खत्म कर दो क्विकली ट्राई दिस
आदित्य से एस डी इवानशी से एस डी ओके अदर्स सॉरी बस रोहित एंड नलिन ऑल्सो से एस डी तनिष से एस डी शुभभ बाकी लोग आंसर कर रहे हैं श्री कृष्णन अक्षय से डी अदस ओनली सिक्स सेवन पीपल हैव आंसर्ड ओके one of the easiest ways of doing this question is using ratios yeah what are they saying same distance distance is not given to us they're saying down the stream 2 hours up the stream 3 hours hai na down stream upstream time ka ratio kya hai 2 hours 3 hours time ka ratio is 2 is to 3 <clears throat> yeah now here distance is constant If distance is constant, what do we know? We know that time and speed are inversely proportional. Correct. So, what will be the ratio of the speed then? Ratio of the speed will be what? Three is to two. Yes. So here, speed of boat plus water, boat minus water. If I add water, का दे दिया four kilometers per hour. <coughs> right. One of the answer choices. If I add four. should be three parts if i subtract four should be two parts reverse engineering kar lo khatam ho jayega yeah so if you go with eight kya ho jata hai 12 is to 4 12 is to 4 is 3 is to 1 no if you take 12 you have 16 is to 8 yes 16 is to 8 is 2 is to 1 if you go with 40 what happens 44 is to 36 that's 11 is to 9 no only thing left is option d that has to be your answer तो ऑप्शन डी के हिसाब से क्या हो जाता है विथ ऑप्शन डी 20 प्लस फोर ट्वेंटी फोर ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर सिक्सटीन यस दिस इज एट टू टाइम्स एट थ्री टाइम्स थ्री इज टू टू मैच कर रहा है दैट मीन्स ऑप्शन डी इज योर राइट आंसर या आल्सो डू इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ इक्वेशंस बट दिस इज द फास्टर वे ऑफ डूइंग एट ठीक है दिस विल सेव अप अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टाइम using ratios yeah <coughs> chalo koi to hai jo ye gif wagera notice kar raha i'm so glad okay guys this would be the end of our session uh tomorrow at before i leave let me tell you tomorrow at 7 am we're doing it guys tomorrow 7 am we'll do some practice questions on time speed distance tomorrow 7 am what is tomorrow's date 9 feb ninth feb 7 am practice questions on time speed distance where on the app yes use my code surana live i'll share the link with you guys in the group Yeah, I'll share the link with you guys on the group. ये कल हो रहा है, seven a.m. Okay. And if you guys are looking towards, you know, cracking your cat, making a difference, हाँ अक्षय, फिर seven a.m. Tenth <laughs> Feb से, tenth Feb से, that is day after tomorrow. I'll be taking classes on time and work and time speed distance. 
other other lecturers praveen tyagi and uh, mr rachal khanna will be taking their lrdi and barc but i'll be taking quant in which i'll be doing time and work and time speed distance okay this is a a 10 session 10 session long uh kya bolte hai course hai na 10 sessions matlab 5 sessions for time and work 5 sessions for time speed distance with this your time and work time speed distance pura pura ho jayega this happens weekdays monday to friday <coughs> sorry 6 30 pm to 8 pm yes and if you are someone who is just getting started abhi chalu kar rahe then what i'd suggest is go for the 13th feb wala batch jaha pe main le rahu number systems yes this will be starting from the scratch number system this is a complete weekend batch happening on saturdays and sundays timing would be 2 30 pm till 4 30 pm these are 90 minute sessions these are two hours 120 minute sessions yeah this may be i guess about six seven sessions here I'll give you about 12 15 hours of number system alone. Hai na? <coughs> so, if you have not taken plus, nahi liya hai, to get yourselves added to this. If you have already taken plus, then get yourselves enrolled to these batches. If you haven't taken plus yet, then there are two options you can go for plus or you can go for iconic. Apart from having the best educators, having live unlimited live classes and having structured courses and pdfs for each of the concepts and live quizzes and tests in ke alawa if you go for iconic then you'll have a personal coach a mentor who would help you every step of the way be it test prep yeah aapke admissions ke liye helping you with deciding things right career guidance all kind of help would be provided if you go for iconic yeah and there's a separate standalone batches for omet and a separate alexis if omets kill other management entrance test kill along with expert guidelines on everything that you need and personalized test analysis yes not a common one personalized well aapka kaisa raha what have you done where have you spent more time pura analysis aapko milega so if you want the plus you use my referral code surana live for the discount you pick up any one of these best ones are 12 months and 24 month ones yes surana live use karne pe aapka prices will get slashed by 10 percentage yes that means for about 800 rupees every month you'll be able to crack cat there are no cost EMI options also available and if you're planning on taking iconic this may have 12 months and 24 month ones this may be up my referral code surana live use kar sakte ho to get your discount of 10 percentage hai na? <coughs> use my referral code surana live so for about this price where normally outside they charge this much for your standard online classes with no personal guidance no mentors and all yahan pe wo bhi hai that means for about 3000 rupees a month you'll not only be able to crack cat and other management entrance test but you'll also be able to get every concern that you have every step of the way answered you know that falls under iconic if you want to talk a little bit about this then you can contact me on telegram <coughs> otherwise we're done for the day thank you very much for being a part of the session i'll see you all tomorrow at 7 a.m for the practice session i'll share the link with you guys in the group in uh, some time thank you very much guys have a great night ahead i'll see you all tomorrow until then keep yourself safe and happy which is extremely important keep learning let's crack it